Welcome to Cengage Learning's video on accessing your grades in Cengage Now. This is an installment of the Digital Course Support self-training video series for students. Our agenda for this video is to show you how to access your grades in Cengage Now. You can keep track of your grades in Cengage Now using the grade page. To get started, click on the grades link from the navigation bar at the top of the page. From here, you can keep track of your grades with a variety of sorting options that help you find specific grade information quickly. In addition to clicking on the grades link, you can access your grades from the course page by clicking the grades button for a specific course in the go to column. You can change how you view your grades by clicking the see results for assignments in course section or study tools selector just above the grades table. If you use the Assignments in Course section drop-down, you'll be shown the score and status for your graded assignments. This view also allows you to generate analytic reports and organize how courses and sections are displayed in the grades table. If you're enrolled in multiple Cengage Now courses or sections, you can use this drop-down menu to choose how your courses and sections are organized in the grades table. If you select the Assignments in Course section view, you'll see a table that provides information on your graded course assignments. Across the top of the table, you'll see the course, instructor, overall grade, and the link to your gradebook analytics. Within the table, you'll see the assignment name and score as the number of points that you earned for correct answers out of the highest possible score. In a separate column, you'll see the same score as a percentage of the highest possible score. Clicking on a score that is an active link will bring you to the View Assignment Results page. This table also lists the date and time that you most recently submitted an assignment, the number of times you have submitted the assignment for grading, and the amount of time you spent on your most recent submission. The Notes column on the far left-hand side of the table provides details on the status of your assignment how your grade is calculated, and any comments from your instructor. You'll see an in-progress status icon next to assignments you're saving to resume at a later time. A low score status icon indicates a low scoring assignment that your instructor has dropped from your overall course score. A needs manual grading icon indicates assignments that require grading by your instructor. Selecting Gradebook Analytics opens an overview of your course performance and helps you quickly find topics that require additional study. Some reports also contain data on global results so you can compare your scores against the national average. The assignment summary report opens to show a table containing the assignment title, the due date of the assignment, your score, and the class average. On this page, you'll also see an interactive pie chart that provides a visual display of the overall grade information for your assignments. It's divided into four ranges, below 70%, 70% to 79.99%, 80% to 89.99%, and 90% or above. You can click a wedge in the chart to set the pie chart to display only results from specified score ranges. Clicking the chart again will return it to the full view. You can similarly remove or add a score range by clicking a grade range dot in the color key above the chart. Clicking an assignment name in the assignment title column brings you to the question summary report for an assignment. This report provides data from the selected assignment in comparison to the class and global results for the responses and student participation. The question summary report table contains the question name, the percentage of students who received a 100% score for the question, and the number of scored takes. Clicking a column header arranges the table by the column in either ascending or descending order. You'll see a similar interactive pie chart that allows you to view your overall assignment results and filter results to scores from a specific range. Clicking a question name in the question summary report will open the item preview report. Here you can interact with the question as you would in an assignment. You can submit a response, see appropriate feedback, etc. without your entries being saved. Our bar graph also appears that shows the distribution of takes within ranges of scores. To return to the previous report, simply click the Go Back link. Back on the Gradebook Overview page, you can also open a view of the Grades page that displays details and your progress for any content you have accessed from the Study Tools page. 
To do so, click on the See Results for Study Tools link. The Study Tools view for the Grades page shows a table with the title of the book the content came from and indicates whether the content came from an adaptive study plan or tutorial. It also identifies which chapter or section you used while working in your study tools. When there is a score to report, it will be displayed as a percentage. Uncompleted content you can still take is labeled not yet taken. Any work that you have done that cannot be electronically graded by Cengage Now is labeled not gradable. You will also see the date and time when you most recently accessed this particular book content, your number of visits, and the length of time you spent working on it. Thank you for taking the time to review the self-training video. We hope you found it helpful. Please make sure to check out our other self-training videos and resources for more help with your Cengage digital products.